Coming up on Weeknight Bite, quinoa crusted tilapia with a delicious mango avocado salsa. Hello, welcome to Weeknight Bite. I'm Lindsay Levine, and Weeknight Bite is your home for quick, healthy, and easy meal ideas. So today we're going to make one of my very favorites, and I have to say I was very proud of myself when I came up with this one. It's a quinoa crusted tilapia with a mango avocado salsa, and it's just divine. So we're going to get started with the salsa, and what we're going to do is I just chopped up some mango, just in little diced cubes. Just, I'm going to throw in some cherry tomatoes, and we have one shallot that we're going to add, a little bit of cilantro. And then, of course, the best part is the avocado. And then just add it to all the other ingredients. And then for the juice and what's gonna really hold it together, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon, probably a half a lemon's worth. And then some salt and pepper. You always wanna just season everything really well because that's what really So I'm first just going to taste my avocado mango salsa just to make sure that I like it before we use it on the fish. Mm. It's great. It's super refreshing and light and it'll be perfect with our tilapia. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the tilapia down the center just to make it easier for cooking purposes. Right down the middle. And I love crunchy breaded fish, but I absolutely hate how fattening that they can be with a macadamia nut crust or a panko crust, so I was on a mission to figure it out and make it healthier. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna first dip our tilapia in ground flax meal. And this is just flax seeds that have been ground up really fine. And we're just gonna coat each side then we're going to dip it in our egg wash, which is just two eggs. And then we're going to dip it in our quinoa. And to make the quinoa stick, you really have to press it down into it. And then make sure you get each side. And then we're going to just bring these over to the stove and we'll cook them. Okay, so we're going to use coconut oil to cook our tilapia. And that's because coconut oil can withstand a really high heat and I actually love the flavor of the coconut oil mixed with the tilapia. It just, because we're going to have that mango avocado salsa mixed with the coconut oil, it really gives it like a tropical flavor. It's just delicious. So we're going to let that heat up. And I have to give my mom and dad a shout out because they were in Rome and got me this apron, which I love. It says La Regina della Cucina, which means the queen of the kitchen. So I'm honored to have that title. And of course, anything that says weeknight bite on it, I love. So, had to thank them on camera. So, we're looking at the coconut oil. It's getting nice and liquidy. Okay, I'm just adding my tilapia to my pan. So, you want to make sure your pan's really hot. And then when it is, it's perfect to put your tilapia in. And it's a nice sizzle. So, it's been about five minutes. And I'm just continuing to move the coconut oil around in the pan just so that everything's evenly coating and cooking evenly and I think it's looking pretty crispy so I'm just gonna flip it Woo! you can tell how crunchy it's gonna be that's exactly what we're looking for so while it's finishing cooking I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper you can tell it's perfectly flaking off so maybe just another minute or two just so that we're sure that it's all cooked through in the middle. And there we have it. Our quinoa crusted tilapia. So I'm just going to add my avocado mango salsa to the top. It smells delish with that coconut oil and all those tropical flavors mixed together. Whoa! That's good. That's really good. There's so much flavor packed in here. I, I'm really amazing myself. So you guys should definitely make this recipe. 
It's really a delicious change on the normal fish dinner. So this is really delicious, lots of good ingredients, and it tastes amazing. Thanks for joining me.